Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. Today, we're, since the football fever is on and World Cup is on, I thought we'd talk about something which is interesting, which is a phenomenon which we've been seeing very recently happening all over the world, which is these World Cup and these international tournaments taking place in countries which are autocracies. Yes. So, the previous World Cup was in Russia in 2018, when Putin was a great man. Now it's different. And now we are in Qatar. I think Russia was banned from this World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of controversy around that too. Yeah. And uh, we have seen this happening, even in our cricket uh, sometimes. No. Right. Cricket is always played in the Gulf. Yeah. Okay. Now, you're asking me, this is not new. Mm. You know, before the World War II, mm. where was the last Olympics held? Germany. Germany. Hitler was the main guy. Main guy. Yeah. And uh, you remember the... They were trying to foul Jesse Owens. Yes. To make sure that the German would win. Correct. So... And I don't think he even shook his hand. Uh, yes. So, what happens is, authoritarian regimes both in the left and in the right hmm. see these sporting events as a place to showcase their national pride. Correct. And therefore, they go extra mile. Hmm. And they spend a lot of money. Yes. You have to realize, I don't know about the World Cup football. None of the Olympics are profitable. No. They lose money. Yes. That's why last one's in China, I think. Yeah. So, there was one in China. The winter was also in China. No, no. The, winter, the winter was in China now. Yeah. Before uh, the win previous winter was in Russia. Russia. And then there was also a Chinese Beijing Olympics. Yes. Before the Japanese. Uh, before the Japanese. Yeah. Now, the idea of the the idea is that uh, these cost a lot of money. A lot of money, yes. Yes. And this requires a lot of state sponsorship. Correct. The state has to spend a lot of money on this. Investment is heavy. Yeah, investment heavy is capital. Heavy, heavy capital. And you don't want to look for a return. Yes. Now, when London hosted the Olympics, it was the mayor of London who was doing the journey around. Yes. Not the Prime Minister of yeah, London. Yeah, we all remember who the Lepreya was at the time. Yeah. So, the, we won't even remember clearly who was the Prime Minister of Britain. No, everyone remembers Boris Johnson running around. Probably. Yes. So, at the end of the day, Olympics is all about getting the money to play the host the event. Correct. In the case of the FIFA World Cup also, Qatar got it only because it was willing to spend the money. True. <coughs> and there's a lot of allegations of bribery. In and corruption. <laughs> but was all that has been investigated. Bribery. And that's an ongoing... Corruption and bribery in football. But nothing has come to light. One of the Brazilian permanent FI, FIFA president of those times, was punished. Yeah. And what I'm trying to say is, so everything is not above board. No. So who will host an Olympic or a World Cup hmm. and take losses definitely? Correct. The country takes a huge loss. The country has to spend a lot of infrastructure. Lot of stadiums have been built in Qatar. Lot of hotels have been built in Qatar. Qatar is the size of one fourth of Madras Correct. as a country. Correct. It does not require so many football <laughs> stadiums. <laughs> it does not require so many hotels. No. It has a lot of gas. It has a lot of uh, oil, but mainly gas, natural gas. Correct. And it is an autocracy owned by one family. Correct. And they would like to showcase that Qatar has arrived. Correct. At times, Qatar has taken a position contrary to Saudi Arabia, which is the big brother in that area. Which has got them in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. They funded Al Jazeera. Correct. And they have taken a militant position against the US. Correct. So, all this put added together, they want to show to the world mm. that they, they have arrived. Yes. That they are... Uh, they have arrived. Well, so, they are not bothered about spending this kind of money. True. FIFA needs somebody who can spend that kind of money. Democracies are chaotic. People ask questions. Correct. The people don't want to spend that kind of money on infrastructure. And so they are definitely going to ask questions. So who will build the cat is a question in a democracy. It's easier to do it in an autocracy. Because one man, he wants to, it's his ego. He wants to show, show off. True. I will not be surprised if the future World Cup is held in Saudi Arabia with the way the current crown prince right, is Right, now going. they have the uh, GP at the... 
Formula One has landed up in the rise of an authoritarian person in Saudi has meant that Formula One has come. And because they didn't give him a proper golf event, he has created a parallel golf event to compete with PGA. And he's poaching people, big players from the PGA. He has money to throw. He has money to throw. And he's creating a separate golf grand uh, system. Correct. That is apart, which is running parallel to the PGA. Correct. All this means is that authoritarian regimes want to burnish their image and they want to show their uh, world class. World class and their ideologies, though disliked by the West and lot of liberal press, and at times by their own people who don't want to say it out in open, and they have access to a lot of money, they blow this money. That's the dichotomy which we see with Qatar right now. That what you said is absolutely true. Though they don't, the Western countries, all of them don't like the ideology in Qatar presented in uh, social structures. They don't like it. They don't. They're against it. They want freedom. They want democracy to be present there. But at the same time, they're ready to get into bed with these guys because they can't afford to spend the money to host an event like this. No, no. They see the idea is this: mm. platitudes are very good. Mm. So when I talk about democracy, I'm talking about platitudes True. and being nice. But at the end of the day, FIFA needs money to run the organization. Yes. Most of the football is club football. Correct. So national events are few and far between. Yes. What is each country has its own popular and powerful league. Correct. The German, German, German Bundesliga. league, the Bundesliga, the Spanish league, the French league, the UEFA. You, and then the English League, then there is an European Champions League. Yeah. And then you have, so FIFA is really not getting its money from these guys. These are independent franchises. True. And, and sometimes the club level football is far more profitable yes. than even national sports. Yes. The so-called playing for national pride seems to be vanishing. The pro- so it's very little. Yes. So FIFA needs to maximize these periods where they, they can make a lot of money. So, this is where uh, they have to make money. And so, even if an event in America is profitable, the World Cup in uh, America is profitable or South Africa is profitable, Hmm. the kind of money that Qatar is willing to pay up front, nobody is willing to pay because you are accountable for the money you spend. True. Neither Putin nor the guy, nor Xi Jinping, nor the chap in Qatar who is doing this are accountable for the money they are going. They are willing to throw on this, and so these FIFA is a running like a private body by a set of bureaucrats. This is done by voting. Even as I speak in India, AFF has been caught in a scandal, and CBI is investigating it. Football is not so big in India. We saw this also when Jailalta was around when she spent a hell of a lot of money building this aquatic. For South Asian games. Correct. So this is why, and she and ran the chess comp, world chess championship between Anand and Carlson here, Correct. and took a lot of spend. The government immediately here sponsored the world chess championships. True. These are especially true where it is not commercially viable. Just to like, showcase the showcase the, the leadership. Leadership. How successful I am. How good I am. And make it a part of national my infrastructure. But actually, it's a waste of money. True. Thank you for watching B Ridge. I hope you like this discussion we had on sporting events in authoritarian countries. How do they, how Western countries talk and preach liberty, but jump into the bed with these authoritarian regimes at the first time? Please do like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. If you do not turn on the bell notification, You will not be notified every time we put out a video. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. I also urge you to persuade your friends and relatives to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And down in the comments below, let us know which World Cup in the running future you think India will qualify in. Thank you. In the first week of December, between 8th and 12th of December, I plan to be in Muscat in the Sultanate of Oman. Those who would like to see me in Oman can get in touch with my team. There's a WhatsApp number given below and there's an email ID also given below. So those desirous of getting in touch with me at the Sultanate of Oman, 
especially in the city of Muscat from 8th to 12th of December, can definitely contact me there. I hope to see you all in Oman soon. Thank you for watching. Be rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.